Running back tier list, we're gonna break them down. S, A, B, and C. S for special. Joe Mixon. I wish this card was better than it was, but it's not. I would stay away from this card, guys. Don't get Joe Mixon. And I know Bengals don't have very many options, but yeah, right now his speed is outdated. His spin move is terrible. I, I would not get him. Um, stay away from Joe Mixon. My advice. Up next, Gurley and Chubb. They're both C tier as well. Uh, I wish Gurley had a better card. He's one of my favorite running backs, but this one's not good. He can't spin. His change of direction, he feels like a linebacker or tight end, however you want to say it. Chubb is my favorite running back in the NFL, and I wish this card was better as well. But it's not. Stay away from Chubb. Uh, the biggest problem with this card is it spins a 72, change direction to 80. Not a fan at all. His break tackle's a 93, though. If you just want a downhill guy to get you a couple yards and fall forward, this might be your guy. And he was free, so. However, though, Derrick Henry is going to be A tier. The best power back in the game breaks the most tackles as a power back in the game. But Barry breaks many tackles. He does for sure. Barry is insane. Uh, but his change of direction is going to keep him out of the S tier. And some other things as well, like catching. He His catching is not reliable at all. But, guys, tell me what tier list you want to see next. I'm thinking tight end. I do have a uh, quarterback tier list and a wide receiver tier list if you want to check that out. There he is, Austin Eckler. Now, I do wish this card was better. Eckler's a fun name, fun guy. But... Yeah, not not my favorite card. Not very consistent with animations. He he's usable. You're gonna get his speed up, and um, I just wasn't a fan of this card, guys. I would stay away from Eckler. Didn't feel right. Didn't run right. Um, I feel like he always falls backwards as well. He's not a good fall forward back. So yeah, stay away from him. Up next, Ezekiel Elliott. This card is a little outdated. I'm sure his next one will be A tier. But for this one right now, with 87 speed, his spin's only an 82. Uh, he was better, obviously, when he first came out, as every card is when they first come out. He breaks more tackles than they tell you. His break tackle is at 84. This card actually breaks more tackles than you think. So do keep that in mind when you're thinking about buying Ezekiel Elliott. His next card will be. A tier for sure. Uh, this card does play. When this card came out, it played way better than I thought it was going to. James Conner. Man, I don't like this card. Now, James Conner in real life, he's so fun to watch because he fights for his every yard. I really like him. But this change there has to be an 81 right now in this game. Yikes. That's not good. Uh, he feels like a tight end for sure, running down the middle. He cannot move. He is basically just a stiff board. Um, not a fan of James Conner. I would stay away from that card. Warwick Dunn is a card that plays better than you think. Warwick Dunn is on my team. He only ever many carries. But Warwick Dunn, on my, because he's a Falcon, is why I have him, basically. But Warwick Dunn actually... His change direction is pretty good, and you can fill it with him, and you can zigzag pretty easily. So, he breaks more tackles than you think. So, work done's a good budget back. He is my budget video. If you want to see every budget position on offense and defense, I have two videos out for that. So, make sure you check that out. And, yeah, guys... The budget beast back will be work done if you need the name. That's going to be your name to go with. Mike Davis, I'm also not a fan of. I would not be getting Mike Davis if I was you. I I wish he played better, but man, this guy feels like he can't. He has no change of direction. And that's going to be the theme of a lot of these problems with a lot of these running backs. Is this guy feels like... You can't zigzag or nothing. I, I'm just not a fan. I would not get that card at all. Same thing with Cream Hunt. 
I wish his card was better. It's not. And with Kareem Hunt, his spin being a 79 really makes him not able to spin. So his catch is okay, but it's not great. But his spin move, guys, really kills this card. I can tell you that. Um, he's one dimensional with the juke. Can't really truck, can't really stiff arm. So, yeah, I would stay away from Cream Hunt. Hopefully, he'll get a better card coming up. And then you have Kri Kamara and Foster. Now, with Kamara, his spin should be better than it was. It's only an 84. And he doesn't, his, his change of direction doesn't feel that good either. Uh, he should have a better card, and he does, and he doesn't. I'm sure his next card will be A, but this one is not. And with Foster, guys, his spin is not that good. And he's getting a little outdated. But um, in his trucking, I thought he'd be better at trucking. He was, and he wasn't. I don't like his catching either. I would not get Foster, probably you. Reggie Bush is almost S tier. If you're saying he's S tier, I'm not going to argue with you. He's right on, like, the middle there. He, he's, like, in between A and B. A and S, I would say. Um, this card has a bigger build. It makes him hard to get through between the tackles. It's kind of weird. His stiff arm is not usable at all. His trucking's not usable at all. I wish he broke more tackles. And that's where I was let down. Um, break tackles, nothing special at all. But his speed does make him top tier for sure. But he's not going to make my list for that. Cook is going to be overpriced and doesn't get very good animation. I would stay away from Cook, especially for the price. S tier is going to be Bo Jackson. He can do everything. The tackles he breaks are insane. His speed is insane. And for his price, that's great. To have 91 stock speed for his price and his break tackle, how many tackles he breaks, Bo Jackson is the way to go, guys. Go get Bo Jackson for sure. And I mean, this guy can move. And for his price, yeah. Bo Jackson, guys. If any questions about Bo Jackson while he's S-tier, look at my review. You'll see it there. He's great. Sean Alexander, not a fan of that card either. I would not buy Sean Alexander if I was you. And I know some people are going to be upset with what I'm saying, but you know what? You got to be honest, right? I don't hype up cards. I don't lie about cards. Um, they're not good, they're not good. And I do not like Sean Alexander at all. His, he, he can't spin and he feels like a tight end and he can't catch. He will drop open passes. Do not like that at all. Barry Sanders, best running back in the game. S tier, not a question. S tier all day, every day. Is Barry Sanders worth coins? If you have the coins, you should have Barry Sanders on your team. That's how good he is. Barry Sanders is that good. Edron James is A tier. I wish he broke more tackles, but his speed and as a elusive back, he's actually good, which is weird because when you look at Ezekiel or uh, um, Edron James, it, it's weird. They have him, you would think he'd be more of a balanced back. But he does not really break very many tackles, guys. He got, he falls down pretty easily. And that's why he's not going to be S tier. He does not deserve to be S tier because he cannot really break tackles. So, yeah, I thought he'd be more of a balance back, and he's not. So, that's my issue with Edron James. And as always, guys, be kind for no reason. Help someone today. Encourage someone today. And here's running back tier. Let's hope this helps you decide to pick a running back. And, yeah, guys, we have more tutorials coming. I like doing these. I like helping you guys. And I really think this clears up the picture of the running backs. Because there's so many running backs. You're like, well, what should I do? This is what you should do. And I have a quarterback and a wide receiver one out. I will be getting some more of those remade. I try to do them once a month is my goal. So that's going to do it, guys. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.